Hi guys, this video uh, is going to be different. This is a message to Boulez. And uh, it might be relevant to my Indonesian audience as well because, you know, in Indonesia, if you move to another culture, like you move across Indonesia to some other location and kamu bukan asli sana, you may have the same problem. So let's talk about this. Um, so I've been living in Indonesia for the past 18 years and I still, I still need to learn my lesson. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, I got sucked into a drama and with the knowledge I know already, you know, harusnya, Harusnya, that never happened, but it happened anyway because some other bule kind of was like, oh, it's fine. And then it wasn't fine, and I knew that. Uh, anyway, last night I was watching this like documentary or this like series about bear attacks, right? So, like, it was a story about like how these people were attacked by a bear and they survived. And um, yeah, I thought, yeah, that's a good metaphor maybe, or analogy. Um, so when I, so living here for 18 years, obviously I understand that Indonesians have way different values than I do. So some things are the same, but there are certain things that are different. And then when those differences pop up, it's very frustrating and um, you have to ngala. <laughs> uh, you have to, you have to apologize. You have to say you were wrong um, and, and all that stuff, okay? So you're gonna lose almost every conflict. You will lose in Indonesia. Um, and so like, I've been here for 18 years. Aku ngala terus. I mean, I always, I always admit fault and learn from my mistake. And that's that's similar to this like show I was watching. It's like it's like this. So when you are going into the woods, okay? You're the woodsman. You're that dude going into the woods, you want to go for a hike or you want to do something in the woods, enjoy the beauty, enjoy life, gitu. Um but there are bears in the woods. Now, when you get, <laughs> sorry, if you're not educated, um, you may be attacked by a bear. So when you go into the, into the woods, into the forest, uh, apparently, I learned from this series, that you have to make a lot of noise when you're walking so that you don't have a confrontation with the bear. Because the bear doesn't want to hurt you. Um, it just wants to protect its cubs and it has its own bear culture. Um, and it sees you as a potential threat or whatever. So if it hears you coming, it'll, it'll leave and no confrontation. So you have to walk while making a lot of noise, which is not natural for you as the woodsman. Because you're just going for a hike, taking pictures, not making noise. But you have to change. You have to make a lot of noise when you're walking. And then if you, if you do have a confrontation with the bear, because you were walking too quietly, then uh, your woodsman, normal like woodsman culture reaction um, is to run away. And that's, that's wrong. Like, <laughs> your mama told you that if you see a bear, run, right? Or your culture tells you that, but bear culture is different. If you run, um, the series said it like, um, if you run, it's like putting a hamburger sign on your back. <laughs> so you're not supposed to run. So you have to fight your own, like, I don't know, reflexes. And you have to put yourself on the floor and cover your 
your face and your belly and maybe even your legs, tuck them under and just go on the, go on the ground like that and, and just let the bear bite you. <laughs> let the bear bite you, let it go and play dead. And if that bear was just protecting its cubs, then maybe you will survive and it'll leave. And these people, Yang Di, Di Sarang, oh sorry, these people that were attacked by bears, they're, they're like, I don't blame the bear. I don't blame the bear because I was the one that, that did something wrong, you know? I should have done A, B, and C. I knew this was the forest. Why didn't I, <laughs> why didn't I learn first and then go to the jungle or the forest? Um, so I was like, yeah. And looking at Indonesia in this way, like as the forest where the Indonesians are the bears, um, yeah, I don't have to blame the bear. I can blame myself for not following the rules of the forest, not, not understanding the bear's culture. Um, so yeah, however, um, I do ngala, like I, I, I do, sering ngala. Um, I have a few bite marks on my back <laughs> uh, because I have made mistakes and I'm sure I'll make mistakes again, um, but I've survived over 18 years. But yeah, I, I do think it's a bit lonely. You know, I do feel it's a bit lonely, like always trying to understand the bear and the bear will never, ever try to understand me, you know? So I'm, <laughs> I'm always wrong. I'm always wrong, uh, which is like, <sighs> I don't think it affects you much if you just come here for like a vacation uh, people are quite understanding, right? Um, you probably won't have a problem. Like it's very unlikely. Um, and if you stay here for a year, yeah, it's probably not going to be an issue. But like after 18 years, I'm confronted with like a lot of bears because over the course of 18 years, of course, I'm going to slip and like make a mistake. And, um, yeah, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like so lonely. Um, I don't really have any friends uh, that like understand me because uh, I just really need to talk to another woodsman. Like I don't have many, many uh, woodsmen in my life. I have like bears and friendly bears, friendly bears. But still, um, even, well, I live with a friendly bear. Um, and, and if you're an Indonesian living overseas, you would be the woodsman and your, your partner would be the bear. <laughs> so if, if you're in that situation, um, then yeah, the, the roles would be reversed. But maybe you can relate to this because sometimes if you're an Indonesian living overseas, you need to, to, to speak to another Indonesian or someone who understands you because you may just act the way your mom taught you and it's your core values and you're living by them and you're being yourself and it gets you into trouble and you feel like no one understands you. And I feel like that and I need to like, anyway, I'm, I started going to a counselor. Uh, I, I chose, um, an Indonesian counselor because I think she'll understand my bear problems better. Yeah. It's like the, the woods are so beautiful and they're so amazing. And, and, and I learned so much living in the woods and I, and I like learning how to behave in the woods and I like learning the culture and everything, but you know, after 18 years, if I don't talk to another woodsman once in a while, who 
who understands me, then, you know, I might go crazy. It's kind of like living in the woods in solitude for 18 years. You're going to come out of that like a lunatic. Like you'd be crazy by the time you get out. Um, not that you don't love the woods. Do you know what I mean? Um, maybe that's why when Orang Indonesia Merantau, they like pulang kampung every year for Lebaran or whatever, because they need to touch base. They need to, to, to talk to people who like really get, you know, their culture. And it gets tiring after like a long time when nobody understands you, where you live. Yeah, and, and then when you do have a confrontation or a conflict, and you know, you could call your mom and be like, this is what happened. She's like, what? That's crazy. What you did was fine. But then everyone where you live is gonna be like, no, you're wrong. This one Indonesia. Now they're not gonna say that to you if you're Indonesian. They're gonna say, this one Lombok <laughs> or like something like that. Um, so like if you're Javanese and then you move to Lombok, maybe they're going to be like, this one Lombok, you can't do that. Or this one Manado, you can't do that. I don't know. <laughs> That'd be, you, you get it, Laya. Um, because, you know, once you leave your hometown, you enter the woods and you're in the forest. So you have to act and behave in a different way that you were taught and you don't share all of your values uh, with this new culture. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. I thought the bear analogy was nice because yeah, the people who were attacked by the bear, um, they never blame the bear, you know? Like, I should have learned. I should have known better. Yes, um, you know, what I did, what would, would have been fine, you know, in my habitat, but I entered the bear's habitat and, you know, I can't expect the bear to understand me. Um, so that's why I got bit nine times on my back. It would be nice if <laughs> Indonesians aren't bears, so it would be nice for more Indonesians to open up and learn about uh, bule culture, bule values, and be more accepting. I found a few, but there's always like, you know, certain situations where they're, they're not gonna forgive you. It's your responsibility to learn how to behave and what to do and, you know, etiknya Indonesia. So yeah, anyway, I'm lonely, guys. <laughs> if you're Indonesian, can you give me some, I don't know, maybe like your experience in the comment section? Because like if you're living overseas, like do you feel the same way I do? Like is, is the country you're living in feeling like the forest? And do you feel like a woodsman? You get eaten alive, so you have to change your behavior to suit the bear? I don't know. Tuturhatku hari ini. But yeah, um, living the life of a woodsman it sometimes takes its toll. And uh, yeah, I wish I had more friends. Um, bears and woodsmen. Friendly bears. Friendly bears, please. <laughs> and uh, even though I'm a seasoned woodsman, sometimes I do make mistakes. And so, yeah, I would, I really appreciate bears that would give me a pass once in a while for making a mistake, you know? Forgiveness and love is like so important and vital to my survival. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys and um, yeah, man, good luck. <laughs>